hello everyone so today we are going to address this problem in our portal system so if i shoot again on this existing portal you can see it overlaps so at the moment i haven't implemented the mechanism to uh, identify if there is an existing portal and try to avoid it so that's what we are going to do today okay first i'll open my portal blueprint and here we have already implemented let me open the graph in this place portal we have this macro which checks if i can place a portal so here we have this function check surface so basically it do a line it does a line trace and check if we hit a surface that has this portal surface uh, surface type but the limitation with that system is when we already placed a portal uh, this portal So this mesh has no collision and also we don't want to enable collisions as well because we need to uh, we need the character to be able to move through the portal uh, to, we need to allow character to overlap with the portal without any blocking so therefore what I'm thinking of doing is instead of using uh, this surface type to check for portal surfaces i'm thinking of having a custom trace a uh, custom trace channel so uh well actually i think there is a much simpler way so if i change this to custom and ignore everything and block visibility can compile now i have not used the physical material of with the type portal surface for this mesh so therefore even if it hit The bullet oh it's not working oh wait this is still no collision i'll make it uh quarry only so that it will not interfere with physics objects but it will interfere with the line traces and it's still overlapping wait one thing i need to check do I have collisions for this mesh? What's the mesh? Right, this one. It's in the engine. Let me show collisions. Oh, it is a collision. Oh, hold on a second. I only change the settings for two. One. I need to change it for both. So, collision reset, custom, ignore everything, block visibility, and collision enabled, query only. Yeah. See, now it's not all that way. Great. Mm. To make things easier for testing, let me just quickly add a reticle. Send base widget. Use widget. WDG.
and let's just add a text with plus I'll make it center now I'll anchor it to the mid Now it's in the middle. Now we can add this to the viewport from the character. Yeah, let's have a branch. This layer controlled. If yes, let's create widget from the type WTG reticle and add to viewport. So it works until this point, but now it doesn't work okay the reason the hit was not registering because i had enabled ignore cell so when i have enabled that it doesn't hit these uh, these portals when we do the line trace to check if the surface is available to um, place a portal so i had i had to disable that now it works so here we check if I place one portal here and try to place another one here where it's too close yeah now it adjust and to the placement uh, but here we have one problem there is a risk that we would try we would run into uh, an infinite loop how that happens is like this here when i check u and if it is blocked i will try to offset by moving down uh, the place that i'm going to place the portal and do the same check again and when I do that, even if I succeed this in the second time, here, if the down is blocked again, it will try to move up. So this will cause to run in an infinite loop. Same thing can happen to the left and right as well. So what we can do is, the next time if the down is blocked i'll duplicate this part where i check the up point of the portal control d and then after offsetting upwards i'll do a separate I will do the check separately here and only if this succeeds we should continue with the next check that means left right similarly I'll duplicate this part and if we fail Hold down, yeah. Uh, of course, we have to do the same check, but if we fail the second time with R, I will check the left here, just like we did for the up position. Only if this is true, I'll continue without looping. So, this should eliminate 
the chance of running into a infinite loop right anyway let's check Okay, so it's working. So yeah, now we don't have the problem of overlapping, uh, overlapping the portals. Even if I try to do that, it doesn't happen anymore. Cool. So yeah, that's all I wanted to cover today. Thanks for watching. So updated project files will be available to download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And for the membership, uh, not just this project, you can download any project that I have done in my channel. There are up to, there are over 1,600 videos to the date. So for each of these video, those videos, you can download the projects. So see you in another episode. Bye.